What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am giving you guys five amazing blue fragrances. If you don't know what blue fragrances are, they are pretty much fragrances you can wear anytime, any occasion, and they will pull you compliments. Starting off at number five, we have Missoni Parfum Pour Homme. This is pretty much Blue de Chanel in a different bottle. Off the top, you get a lot of citrus. I believe it's lemon and bergamot. And then that combines with some ginger, which gives us a super nice freshness on the top. And in the base, there is a heavy dose of birch wood. Really good stuff right here. Very mass appealing. A more seductive fragrance. It does have a sexiness to it for being a fresher fragrance. Performance is pretty solid. I get about six to eight hours, just depending on how heavy I spray it. You could also get this for a great price as well. Last time I checked, you could pick up a bottle for around $40 on FragranceNet. Definitely a steal at that price point. Again, coming in at number five, Missoni Parfum Pour Homme. Coming in at number four is Versace Dylan Blue. So the way to describe this one, I would say, is you take the original Dior Sauvage, but you add incense and tonka bean in the base. So you do get hit with that very fresh shower gel feel that Dior Sauvage has, but then you add some incense and some tonka bean in the base, which gives it a smoky sweetness. This is definitely a great alternative to Dior Sauvage in my opinion. Another one you could get for a very affordable price in the mid $40 range. Performance on here is amazing guys eight to nine hours on my skin this is almost a beast mode performer definitely a great scent that you guys should check out again coming in at number four versace dylan blue coming in at number three is carolina herrera bad boy cobalt this is the most recent pickup for me of these fragrances i love the way this stuff smells so this fragrance you start off with lavender and pink pepper in the top which gives it this nice freshness but it has a plum note in the mid, which gives it a nice sweetness as well. And then it dries down into a very woody scent. This one smells pretty similar to Invictus Platinum. So if you have Invictus Platinum, you might want to pass on this one. But if you don't have any of them, I would just go to like your local Macy's. Smell both of them, see which one you like, and then just pick that one up. Because again, they are pretty similar. A little redundant to own both in my opinion this stuff is a huge head turner big compliment getter performance is amazing with this stuff eight to nine hours on my skin coming in at number three carolina herrera bad boy cobalt coming in at number two is aqua de joe absolute this is actually the first fragrance in my collection this is the one that started it all off so that tells you how good this smells. This one, you pretty much take the original Aqua de Joe and you combine it with Invictus. This one is very fresh aquatic with some bubblegum sweetness. This stuff smells absolutely amazing. Performance is very good. Eight to nine hours again. This stuff is a big compliment getter. This smells like summertime in a bottle, in my opinion. Very good stuff. Coming in at number two, Aqua de Joe Absolute. Coming in at number one, I had to do it, guys. I had to do it. Dior Sauvage. This stuff just works. A very sharp metallic shower gel fragrance. Has some bergamot and black pepper in the top, and then it dries down into this Ambroxan note. This one's very synthetic, but it is a huge compliment getter. Ladies love the way this stuff smells. Anyone around you is going to love the way this stuff smells. Like I said, gets a good amount of hate in the fragrance community, but that's just because of how successful this scent is. A normal person going about their day who doesn't know anything about fragrances. If they smell you wearing this, they will think you smell absolutely amazing. Be small performance with this, guys. 9 to 10 hours on my skin. It's received a lot of hype. It's received a lot of hate. But in my opinion, this stuff is still great and it still works to this day. Coming in at number one, Dior Sauvage. All right, those are my five amazing blue fragrances for men. If you guys enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'm coming at you guys with a new video every other day. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.